Now we're going to discuss the more advanced stuff. The use of High Templars against Terran, specifically flanks. Here you can see that the Protoss position has High Templars stationed off at multiple different sides, with the army off to the side of the map and in the main, third, natural, fourth base, so on and so forth. They're simply spread all over the map. No matter which way the Praran attempts to engage the Protoss army, High Templars will come from the side and storm them. This makes it far more difficult for the Terran to anticipate the locations of High Templar and get EMPs or snipes off on them. It essentially guarantees Storm. Having the High Templars at home, as I just mentioned, is extremely important in the defensive drops late game. Combined with cannons, you can make yourself nearly impervious to them as long as you have observers in key positions and watch the minimap. Here, a double drop comes in from the third and main simultaneously, essentially. But the position of High Templars in the main and third, along with a cannon or two, simply means that these drops are effectively neutered. You feedback them, they either get blown up, or if they don't have enough energy, they drop, and you storm the units and they don't get any healing and cleaning them up is trivial. Here we see High Templar moving in in order to storm SCVs and harass, another very important and help, very helpful use of High Templar. They can be used as harass units, they can be used for defense, they can be used for the main army. High Templar are the most versatile units in this entire matchup and they are very much worth the investment, even though Kadar and Amulet was once removed from the game. Now, to discuss the techniques in used in the flanks you saw earlier while we watched this harass. To flank properly with High Templar requires a lot of attention. It is not an easy technique to do. You need to spread out your High Templar constantly around the map, and you need to pay attention to them. You can do this either essentially by knowing where they are, watching the minimap very closely, and having very quick fingers to move, jump to their locations using hammer, camera hotkeys, or in other cases, simply not hotkeying at all, clicking very rapidly and selecting them and moving them up. That is extremely difficult. You have to be exceptionally quick to make use of that. So I prefer to just save up several different hotkeys for all of my High Templar groups positioned keyly around the map. Now here we see High Templar flank is failing. He anticipated it, he scanned properly. So we've put High Templar in a warp prism. We keep position of the Vikings carefully, we move the warp prism in at the side, we anticipate it, we drop it, and we storm from the, from the warp prism. Makes it far more difficult to get EMPs because EMPs in the warp prism do not kill the High Templar inside of the warp prism or neuter their energy. Getting a few good storms off on a Terran army can make a huge difference in the engagement because the first couple Colossus attacks, even if they were to get almost one or two shot by Vikings, will kill units instead of simply damaging them. This is extremely important because it lowers the DPS of the Terran army as fast as you possibly can and essentially allows you to kill the units.